Queen behavior. I woke up this morning with a desire to talk about what is queen behavior. So I want to start with uh, two definitions. For those of you who followed me, are my clients, have connected with me for many years, you know that I am a words girl and I love to dive just a little deeper as it relates to certain words. I feel that we're able to embody them um, at a different level. And so I want to start with the definition for queen and these are just very brief simple impactful definitions that give us clarity for what we'll talk about this morning so a queen is the most powerful chess piece each player has this is the definition that i saw when i looked it up so i don't know how many of you play chess i'm i never got to that point um my ex-husband was excellent at playing chess but checkers was my thing but i do have a understanding of chess because of my interactions and how much he enjoyed it so much and so when you think about the game of chess the queen is the most powerful chess piece each player has. Now, when it said each player, I just thought that was so amazing because whoever has a queen in their life has access to the most powerful player, whether it's a child who has a mom as a queen, whether it's a husband who has a spouse who is embodying her queen behavior, whether it is an employer who has a queen on their staff, whether it is a business who has a queen as the owner, whether it is a ministry that has a woman who is operating in her queen behavior, they have access to the most powerful chess piece, right? The most powerful piece that each player has. It also said that a queen is one who inherits the position by right of birth. I don't know about you, but I literally got chills when I read that. And then I felt them again as I was reading that and saying that to you. One who inherits the position by right of birth. Now, this is so beautiful because it is something that is naturally given to us, although it's not always recognized, activated, or cultivated at birth. We are given the ability or possibility to operate in our queen behavior. So let's do a definition for behavior. So behavior is the way one conducts oneself, the actions, the etiquette, the mannerisms the way one conducts oneself. So now that we have those two definitions out of the way, I wanna talk about when queen behavior occurs in the life of a woman. Now, we've already talked about the fact that it is a position that is inherited, right? By right of birth, the fact that you were born <laughs> establishes the right for you to operate in queen behavior with queen behavior, to embody queen behavior, right? But if it is not activated, cultivated, or recognized at that time, queen behavior can happen when a woman decides to check in with herself. My goodness, my gosh. Because sometimes we go through routines in life and we go through this traditional path that the world has decided we are supposed to operate in. We go through different roles that we play in our life and we don't really check in with ourselves. We just do the role. We just do the thing. And at the moment that a woman decides to check in with herself is one of the times that queen behavior can occur in her life. Another time is when a woman decides to put herself first 
and take exceptional care of herself. This is when queen behavior can occur in her life. When a woman embraces queen behavior, everything in her life changes. Now, this can be during a transitional time. For many, it is after a failed relationship, right? When we decide to finally check in with ourselves. But imagine if we just decided to check in with ourselves. Not because of a failed relationship or a divorce or something not going well, but because we understand that checking in with ourselves positions us for greater in every area of our life. But oftentimes, queen behavior occurs or a woman embraces the possibility of queen behavior during transitional times in her life. And she'll receive different levels of that queen behavior at different times. Now, I wanna share one more instance as it relates to like playing chess and, and another chess piece on the board game uh, for chess that resonates for this particular concept of queen behavior, and that is the pawn. So the pawn is the smallest size and value on the chessboard. Now, if, if I'm thinking about this in the life of a woman, this is a time where she may have been operating in low self-esteem, where she may have been people-pleasing, where she may have um, put others before herself, where she may have been hiding, um, only going after the bare minimal, receiving the bare minimal in her life, only calling in the bare minimal of her life. This is what I think about when I think about the pawn on the chessboard, which is the smallest size and, and value. But the beautiful thing in the game of chess is that the pawn can be converted to queen when she reaches the furthest rank. She can be converted to queen when she reaches the farthest rank. Now, I say, right, because we're talking about chess in that respect, but as it relates to queen behavior, um, the master life class that I'm teaching, I say that the pawn, which is the smallest size and value, can be converted to queen when she cracks the code of embodiment of the five levels of being and the code of the highest version of self-esteem, the code of the highest level of energy, the code of the highest level of communication, the code of personal power, the code of love. So she moves from that pawn position where you know, low self-esteem, she's hiding, she's people pleasing, only going after or calling in or even receiving the bare minimal. In that pawn state, she can be converted to queen when she accesses the embodiment of these five levels of being, self-image, energy, communication, personal power, love, right? That's when a queen a woman embraces her queen behavior. If you have not signed up for the Queen Behavior Masterclass, at midnight on the 17th is the last day to do so for this enrollment period. We are going to talk about those five levels of being, uh, your self-image, your energy, your communication, your personal power, your love, and how to embrace queen behavior. That's my take on this morning. I felt led when I got up this morning. It's literally not even six in the morning as I am recording this uh, for you. But I felt led to talk about like what is queen behavior and also to invite you to join us for the queen behavior master life class. I am Tammy Wilson, master life and business coach, also known as the growth strategist. I focus from a three-point perspective in all the work that I do, abundance mindset, 
personal growth and business building. I feel when those three things are in alignment for the woman who is in business, she steps into a space of possibility, expansion, and amazing things happen. That's my take on this morning. Peace and abundance.